myself as the executive director of SeaTac, the chair and the board of directors and all the staff at SeaTac are excited to have the opportunity to be joined by you all today. Each of you is a critical voice in Canada's response to HIV and hepatitis C. And we are honored that you took the time away from your important work to be with us today. Our ancillary workshops yesterday afternoon and the excellent speeches at our welcome dinner last night gave you a preview of the breadth and the knowledge of experience that we have gathered here for the next two days. We've arrived at an important moment of transition in our work, and we have many challenges and opportunities ahead of us. The funding environment is no doubt top of mind for many of you, and as the confusion over the Public Health, of, Public Health Agency of Canada's HIV and Hep C Community Action Fund has left many agencies planning for an uncertain future. Nonetheless, we recognize the important work that you do in ensuring that people living with HIV and hepatitis C have access to treatment and that your work has never been more impactful. It is fitting that in the past year we celebrated both the 20th anniversary of CTAC as an agency and of highly active antiretroviral treatments for HIV. These medications have transformed HIV over the past two decades into a chronic, manageable illness. We'll hear later today from a panel of people living and aging with HIV about the impact of treatment on their lives and the work that still needs to be done to help PHAs manage comorbidities and continue to thrive. The more recent emergence of new and highly effective hepatitis C medications has many of us dreaming of a world that, where we can eliminate HCV. Cost and access requirements and public drug plans have put real barriers between people living with hepatitis C and the treatment they need. But as tomorrow's speakers will show us, we are being proactive about highlighting the need for these medications and creative in doing everything possible to get them to the people who need them the most. We're also seeing a revolution in HIV prevention options. HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis has been making its way through Canada's drug regulatory processes. And we're hopeful that in the next year, we will see PrEP come through price negotiations and onto our public drug plans. Community members have been providing feedback throughout this process and ensuring that their voices are heard in these decisions. Throughout today's sessions, we'll also hear from folks on the front line of PrEP access, people who are working hard to ensure that communities most impacted by HIV be well informed about PrEP and that people in need have support navigating the health system to get access to this promising prevention tool. There is, of course, another very important HIV prevention option that has emerged in the last few years, and we've seen a bold campaign led by people living with HIV to make its presence known. Undetectable equals untransmittable campaign has been a real breakthrough in communicating the value of an undetectable viral load, not just as a measure of someone's health, but as a means of eliminating the possibility of HIV transmission. Research studies like the HPTN 052 and the partner study have given us the data we need to finally say that an undetectable viral load means that someone living with HIV cannot transmit HIV to their sexual partners. The U equals U campaign did not start this year. It started decades ago when those living with HIV and their allies fighting to get HIV recognized as an important issue, demanding that governments respond and ensuring they have access to life-saving medications. It grew out of the work of local agencies and community groups, providing critical support to people living with HIV to link them to care and supports. It grew out of the ongoing effort of community members, service providers, and researchers to find better ways to prevent HIV, to care for people and our communities. The Undetectable Equals Untransmittable campaign is a reflection of everything that our movement has done to fight HIV stigma and ensure people living with HIV and communities most impacted by HIV not just survive but thrive. And I'm honored to share with you today 
that SeaTac proudly endorses the message that undetectable means untransmittable. We still have a long way to go in addressing HIV and hepatitis C in Canada. I was pleased to have John McCulloch with us last night to speak about the Canadian consensus statement on HIV and CTAC developed alongside Katie and Positive Light. As much as the Canadian consensus statement points to the work that needs to be done, it points to the strengths in our sector to work collaboratively and meet those challenges. As a national agency, we're fortunate to have partners like everyone in this room. All the projects and initiatives we work on thrive with the collaborations we have with all of you. We look forward to continuing the work with all of you to make our goals a reality. Thank you and enjoy the conference.